a sure sign of a good time. The just right taste of Bud Light. Here we go. This is the Players Lounge on 101sports.com from Hot Shots Sports Bar and Grill. Welcome back to Hot Shots in St. Charles, the Players Lounge. Steve Savard, DeMarco Farr, our special guest tonight, Rams linebacker Brady Papinga. Giving up some time to Papinga. be with us tonight. Papinga. How are you? I'm doing great. Doing really good, actually. Day after, you could be better with a W. Well, well, obviously, you know, having a little W under your belt at this time makes you feel a little bit better. But uh, in terms of just uh, starting the season off and getting things going, I think we're we're – you know, we're in a good place. Uh, we were talking about this earlier. Have you ever been in a game where you had so many guys come out with injuries? It was crazy, man. Yeah, actually, last year I played the Packers. We were uh, out at Washington, and I thought there was a sniper at the top of the stands <laughs> picking guys off left and right. And I was like, this is unbelievable. I was like, will I ever see this again? And lo and behold, yesterday it felt like the same thing, except, the, the, I mean, the guys weren't like Steven Jackson's situation. It wasn't like he was laying on the field or anything like that. He just sort of took himself out. But, yeah, man, it was like a famine just spreading through that field there. It was pretty crazy. It's I mean, crazy, but no one's going to feel sorry for you in this league. That's the thing about the NFL. Well, yeah, I mean, that's that's the beauty of it. It's, it creates a whole other challenge, and it's it's going to keep testing our team, you know. And so we'll, we'll see what we're made of, but I like what we're made of. So when we'll Green see how we Bay, go you won the Super Bowl. Didn't you have, what, 15 guys on injured reserve last year? Some ridiculous Yeah, number. yeah, 15 guys on injured reserve, man. So that goes to show you this, the injuries, it's all about how you handle it as a team. You know, it's people usually just give them the death sentences to those teams and all of a sudden have a lot of injuries. But really, it's about how the team handles the adversity and rises to the occasion. You know, so we'll see what we're, uh, we're made of here. You're a pretty interesting guy, aren't you? What would you mean by interesting just there, interesting DeMarco? interesting guy. I'm just, I'm, I'm trying well, to, let me tell I'm you afraid this, to look you in the eye. Let me tell you this. Do you know how many Brady Papingas exist in this world? Hopefully in just universe, one. There's Ho one of me. And I'm sure there's just one DeMarco Farr. There might be another. You know, Depend there may be another clone. Depend out there on who somewhere. asks. If, the S if there's the FBI, there's <laughs> yes. four. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, I haven't heard that. That was like, that's not the first time I've ever heard that there, DeMarco. <laughs> that I'm an interesting guy. But what, what, what's interesting, man? Give me a description, like some kind of characteristic. Steve, you want to help me out here? No, I, I mean, I, I think. I mean, he's putting the, he's putting Steve, the Manson, on, man. He's putting the Manson got, lamps on me. A, what do you got? You have a load of personality. You're an yeah. you're an extrovert. You, yeah, I, I find, like it. And we talked about this in a radio interview a few weeks back. Yeah. Interesting. You said growing up, you were actually kind of shy. Yeah. Believe it or not, man. I mean, that's crazy, huh? But I can't even imagine. Now, you say you kind of came out of your shell doing a Mormon mission for two years in Uruguay. At 18, yeah. I can't imagine going to a foreign country at that age, not speaking the language. You would have to, you would either come out of your shell or die at that point. Yep, yeah, it's pretty much one of those one-way streets, you know. <laughs> and uh, I went down that street, and yeah. here I am right now. Yeah, came out of the shell, guys. Who do you live next to? Who's your locker mate? Because uh, oh, it's Chalmers. Do you guys, does everybody here know who Chalmers is? Go ahead and explain. His Go name's ahead. Chris Chamberlain. Sure. And I come into this place, and everybody's talking about this Chamber Chambo guy. And yeah. I'm like, who's Chambo? You know, and lo and behold, it's my next guy next to me. I was like, Chambo is not your name, dude. I can't, we can't, we're not going that direction. I don't care for Chambo. I'm like, your name is Chalmers. I'm trying to hold it. You know, and so what I did, his wife's sweetheart she is, she's in the, you know, this after the, <laughs> this guy's unbelievable. <laughs> she's in. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Get go me ahead. going now. Go ahead. You get me going down I'm that hold, road. I'm holding it. Go ahead. I'm going to look this way. I'm going to look straight ahead. You get me going ahead. down that road. You go ahead. I, it's a, it's a one-way street for me. But anyway, so we're in the after game thing where you meet with the family. And I sure. go up to his wife and I said, I hope you know that your, your husband is no longer Chainbow. It's Chalmers, okay? And she's like, what? And I said, yes, it's, it's completely been changed. And so lo and behold, <clears throat> I've talked to other people. We've made a discussion and he's Chalmers. So it's Chalmers. Is he okay with that? No, he's not. He he's extremely choice, sensitive. He? <laughs> he, was, he was trying to figure out some nicknames for me that right. just didn't work. And he's like, Brady, well, tell me some of your nicknames. I was like, well, I have a whole book full of nicknames, man. I mean, I have Psycho, Schizo, Captain Midnight, Pops, B-Pop. Wait, 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 I mean, wait, 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 Captain Brady, Midnight? Brady Pupinga, yeah. a.k.a. Captain Midnight, <laughs> with us in the Players' Lounge. Where's yeah, that? but I mean, this What's has nothing to do with stuff that happens at midnight. What it, okay, what it was is when I, my rookie year, I was on special teams, and I had tons of tackles, and, you know, the, the special teams coach really liked me, and he knew this guy that played for the Redskins back in the 80s whose nickname was Captain Midnight because he'd run down and knock guys out, put them to sleep. Ah. So he gave me that name. It had nothing to do with what I would do at midnight. It's like Sean. Because everybody knows nothing good happens at midnight. Nothing good happens after midnight. It's like or Sean Merriman's nickname, Lights Out. Lights Out. There, there you lights go. Lights Out. 
<laughs> so anyway, yeah, back to Chalmers. Chalmers. <laughs> he, uh, you know, he tried taking my two, one of these names called Psycho and Schizo that they called me and tried putting them together, but that just didn't gain any tread. It just no. died. But he's Chalmers. This has been fun, Brady. We appreciate oh, you taking the time, man. Anytime. You're really, Anytime, really guys. entertaining. Uh, we appreciate it. We love the personality. We like what you bring. Good Anytime, experience. You're, uh, I awesome. think it's. I think you guys got a great chance to to, to grow together as a, as a threesome there. You and Ben and, and James and I think be the best linebacking core we've seen in St. Louis in a long time. I agree. Hey, it's a fact. <laughs> Facts are facts. Well, I'm just saying I agree. His shirt, shirt is white. Shirt's right. white. Shirt is white. Shirt's I like white. those cuffs, too. Those Thank sweet you, SSF. I don't know what that means, but I think it's cool. We'll explain later. Oh, nice. <laughs> for, Brady, for Brady Pink, Papinga, and DeMarco Farr, I'm Steve Savard. I want to thank Dodie Rahman, our engineer, Haas Newport, our producer. Please join us every Monday night here at Hot Shots in St. Charles. It'll be next Tuesday. He's right, Dodie. We're playing a Monday night football game. Dun, 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 dun. We'll be here next Tuesday. <laughs> Other than that, you can join us Monday nights dun, dun, at dun, 7 o'clock at Hot Shots in St. Charles. That'll do it. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great night. Have a good night, guys.